Karen Ranzau with Little Pink Ladybug, and I'm here to give you a quick demonstration of our brand new snap templates. We have five templates, each one corresponds with a different ribbon width. So we have two and a quarter, inch and a half, seven eighths inch, five eighths inch, and three eighths inch. We also have our size guide. The size guide has nine different dimensions on it. It has two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, turn it sideways, you have five, six, and seven. Each measurement has a slot through the center of it. Number three has two because four cuts across, and he's marked with a little line. Number five, the center line is right along this edge, and it's marked as well. So what I'm gonna do is show you a quick demonstration. You might say, I'm an experienced bow maker. I don't need templates. I can freehand faster. Well, that's exactly what you can do with these. You can say, well, I can eyeball my loops. This is just an extra hand to say, hey, you know, the phone rang or I want to try some techniques, or it, it just takes the stress off your fingers, which is really nice. Now, if you're new, you say, ha, that's great. I can't, I can't freehand my loops. I can't, uh, I can't guess. I just, it's not working for me. The snap templates are going to help you out quite a bit. I'm going to start with my size guide. I'm going to cross the center line. I'm going to start with the five inch. I'm going to cross that center line and just wrap this around twice. I'm not even going to measure it. I'm just going to make sure I have two loops, two layers on each side for two loops. And I'm going to trim that off. And if you want to do tails, you can add tails. If you want to add layers, you can do multiple layers. Now you can put a regular pin through the center. I'm actually going to free up my hands a bit and use just a regular lapel pin. And just punch that right along the center line for the number 5 size. And slide it off the template. At that point, I'm going to take it and put it against my template. And I'm going to put the back on that pin. Again, freeing up my hands. I'm just going to snap those into the back, the back loops into the back, and then set it down and open up my open up my loops onto my template. And those can snap into place. So now all my loops are going to be even, and all my angles are taken care of as well. But it gets even better than that. Once I've got it in the template, if I'm still unsure about creasing, I can take the pin off. And if you like to sew, you can go ahead and sew that. And if you mind where you place your stitches, you can just cinch it up and complete your bow. But if I was new, I don't want to worry about having to worry where I place my stitches. So I'm just going to put a few stitches in here and not worry about where they, they go. I'm, this is just to keep my loops from, uh, from losing those pretty loops. And I'm just going to cut that off. I'm not even going to knot it. I'm just going to trim that thread off. And I'm going to take a piece of wire and still leaving it on the template, I'm just gonna tuck that wire into the back and up through the top slot under my ribbon, there we go. And lay that template down on the table. And just like I'm tying a shoe, I'm just gonna cross over, tuck under, and pull that tight. And because you did take a few stitches, you can always adjust where that, uh, that center wire is to get that centered. So when I take that off my template, I don't really have to do any shaping or anything. I'm gonna have my twisted boutique bow. So you can add your knot, flat wrap, center, and finish it, stack it up with other bows and finish that however you'd like. But you can see how simple and user-friendly the brand new snap templates are. Thank you very much.